Oh, that lens feels dirty. It looks really bad, doesn't it? Hi guys, and welcome to today's task. Today's task is going to be focusing on your lawn and its rough edges, if you will. That's a good joke. That's a great joke. Maybe you're good at mowing your lawn. You can put a decent cut on it, good pattern, maybe even some stripes, make it look really nice. Maybe you're really good at planting flowers. You've learned to pick out a few breeds of maybe perennials and annuals that you really, really like. And when they come into bloom, the lawn looks fantastic. Maybe you're fantastic at tilling a garden. You know how to churn up soil and really put nutrients back into it and break down the compost in your dirt. I've got a video for that if you're not sure. The one thing I wanna talk about today is the rough edges of your lawn. Maybe you've got this beautiful carpet bed lawn mowing job, but when you get to the edges, they look like crap because one, you don't want to put your mower over here because it'll scalp it. And two, you're not quite sure how to edge or trim that so it looks nice and clean. Guys, I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks that I use to make my edges look darn near perfect. Microphone, don't fail me now. These are really the tools I use when it comes to edging my lawn. Now, I don't use this one near as much anymore because I did buy a combination unit. Some people call edging weed eating, and that is not the same. Weed eating is cutting it at a flat surface. You're cutting the weeds down, and edging is really cutting in an edge. Look at those dirty green grass mowing hands. When you cut that edge in, they require kind of two different methods or two different uses, but you can use a weed eater for both, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. First, maybe you've got a smaller lawn and you want some nice straight edges. This is a simple tool and it's not near as expensive, and I'll show you how to use that one. So this first method is only for cutting really against concrete, grass that butts up against a concrete edge because this has a rubberized wheel on it that has to run on the concrete. This won't cut a grass edge if you've got flower bed edges or whatnot. This just won't grip on your grass good enough. All you do is put it down in your trench, or down along the side, you'll fill it, grab, and run back and forth. Honestly, this method does work great if you want that nice clean edge. It really does look good. It will kick up dirt, so you gotta definitely blow that away or else you'll have a mud puddle. But bang for your buck, it's a good deal. Let's say you've bought a motorized edger. This is what it's gonna look like. It will have a wheel typically with a flywheel that cuts and these are replaceable, which is great because they do wear out over a couple years on your own lawn. Because you're no longer the power of this machine, it can do a lot of square footage a lot quicker. What I like about it is it does cut a nice straight edge of grass, but it kind of pulls the dirt out from the side of your sidewalk just a little bit, which allows your water from your sprinklers to go down in here rather than bumping up against here and just kind of making a dirty sidewalk look every time you water. Now your sidewalk edges are done and you're ready to cut that last little bit next to your flower beds. This is where your weed eater will come in, not your edger. And this is why I buy this particular unit because I can interchange them. Put it in, line up the pin, tighten it up. Now your edger just became a perfectly good weed eater. And I will say, I prefer the straight shaft out of any of them. The curved shaft is what I learned on as a kid, but once you have used these straight shafts, you'll just kind of never go back. They're a little easier on your back. You don't have to lean over so far. You get better control of it. It doesn't pivot when you're swinging it. So let's start weed eating. Before we start, a few things to note. You need to know which direction your weed eater spins. I don't know if all of them spin the same direction, but this one spins counterclockwise. So personally, I like to pull against it, flipping the grass towards me. I do that for only one reason. I have the best control with it. I do hate the fact that grass gets flown at me. I'm covered in it every time. And if I'm going through sandy areas, you get beat to pieces. But I always wear my sunglasses or safety glasses to protect my eyes, and I don't mind it too much. That way, I don't scalp my lawn. That's something that weed eaters are notorious for, is they get out of control and take off, and then they scalp something, and it looks really, really bad. So I always pull against it. If you go with it, you can train yourself to do it that way but just know you're gonna scalp a lot of times before you get the hang of it. And I just, out of all my years of doing this, I still never have. So this is how I do it. 
pull against and it works the best. The other thing I like about that too is that if you go where it's, if you pull it against you, it takes this grass and throws it out into the lawn. If you go the other way where it's throwing it away from you, it throws it into your flower beds, which you've got to blow out now. And that seems like twice the work and it doesn't always blow out that easy and that's a little bit hard on your flowers. <laughs> We've only edged the top part of this, but you can tell this is flat now, almost as flat as our lawn. I prefer to do this before I mow, so that when I mow, I pick this up. The lawn mower is the vacuum of your lawn, and I like to vacuum. I try to do all my edging first, and then mow last, so it kind of picks up the rest of it. And that's nice. We've cut our edges flat, but we still have this ugly edge right here. You can use that mechanical edger um, that I have for my motorized one to do that, but that's really hard too, because it can sometimes get caught and carry away. I mean, it just, it'll go. So I don't prefer using that. I actually use my weed eater once more, but I turn it on edge. Now, there is a caveat to this. If it's electrical, it doesn't matter. But if it's motorized, you do have to make sure that that tank is pretty well full. If it starts getting empty, the carburetor won't suction very well. So just keep that in mind. Let me show you that. There you have it. I edge my flat edge just like this, then come back, turn it on edge, and once again, pull against it and cut that edge in. A lot of artists use paint, um, some use clay, some use even uh, charcoal as their media. Me, I use a lawn. I really, really take my edges serious. You can even ask my wife, it's just something that is just, it's my hobby. And the benefit to her is she has a beautiful looking lawn. Over the years, this is how I've learned to do my edges and make them as straight as an arrow. This did not happen overnight. I have been edging like this since I was eight years old. Over those years, I've used multiple different machines and different machines at different houses that I've helped out with. And if any of you remember lawn day, there was a different mower and edger at each lawn that I went and did. So there's a learning curve for it. Take some time and get familiar with it. And the biggest key too is to just take a little bit at a time, just graze it kind of little bit, little bit, just don't dig at it and go at it because it's just never going to work very well. You guys, you'll also use your flat edge when you come up against a tree. Make sure it's a tree that can handle the hit. New trees, young uh, bushes, they can't handle it. So definitely avoid them or hand trim them. It's been raining for a week straight. The lawn has never looked so green ever, but it is so long and I've got to spend the next few hours mowing. Oh, and we did a blade change. If you have not seen my video on how to sharpen your blade, I'll leave that in the description as well. Before we're done with this video, I want to show you another small tool that I really, really like. The tool I want to show you is these guys. And we got to get real low to show it because these are a manual edger. Now, these allow you to get next to plants you don't really want to use the weed eater around because it will just tear them apart. I use these around my grapes for years and I still do. And what's nice is they can do a flat edge just like that if you want to do that straight edge tip them up and get straight with it and just go. And there is a lot of control and maybe it's a Zen kind of thing, but I really enjoy these. And if my wife would let me, I would trim the whole yard with these just cause. The only downfall, all the grass clippings fall back in. So you got to blow them out, or clean them out. You guys, those are the tips and tricks that I use when it comes to edging my lawn. I really think the detail is in the edges of your lawn. The mow job can look just half decent, but if it's not edged very well, it really kind of takes away from it. So I start with the edges and then the lawn takes care of itself from then on. So if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And if you're interested in any of the products that I used in today's video, I will link them all down below. Bye guys.
maybe it's just my sunglasses that are dirty, I don't know. We are gonna be discussing, let's see, no. I use, is, you guys, I'm gonna show you maybe uh, lawn care and, all right. Now you've got your, now you've got your sidewalk edges done. Today's task is all about 